Okay, I know why you're here. You wanna learn the half Windsor tie knot. You're probably late for something, so let's not faff about. The only thing I need from you, two things. Like the video if you do it, put in the comments where you're watching it from, and that is it. You're gonna to need to put your phone next to the mirror because I'm gonna be shooting this video in that mirror, and that way you can copy it exactly. I promise you it's gonna be the easiest way to learn it. Let's go, that's it, that's all the talking. First things first, we're gonna do up the top button of our shirt. We want the seams of the tie and the labels all facing your body, so it's just the flat ends of the tie, the flat sides of the tie that are facing out. Then you're gonna get the thin end of the tie and you're gonna make it quite short. This end is gonna almost feel a bit too long, but don't worry about that, we're gonna use it. Now, cross the thick end over the thin end, and I'd use your index finger and your thumb of your right hand to hold that in place. Then you're gonna take the thick end of the tie and we're gonna put it round the back and then through the middle, okay? So round the back, like that, and then through the middle. Now if you do that right, what you'll see is you're creating a little shoulder in that part of the tie. And the main blade of the tie will now be hanging the wrong way round, directly down. Then I would give that a little tug, just so that that knot stays quite, not overly tight, but just snug. And then you're gonna take the blade and you're gonna move it to the opposite side of that knot. And then we're gonna, what we're gonna do now is put it across the front and then we're gonna tuck it through the loop from behind this time. So it goes across the front and then we're gonna tuck it through the middle, okay? And now, it's ha now this tie is hanging in the correct direction, again, directly down. And then all we're gonna do is tuck it through that little loop we just made there. So get the blade, pop it through the loop. Now, as you tighten the knot, you're gonna need to hold the thin end and tug the thick end. But if you do that, you'll probably get quite a boxy knot if you're not, if you're not occasionally squeezing the knot, the bottom of the knot, to try and make a triangle. That's how you'll get a really nice knot. So a few tugs, squeezing the bottom of the knot, a few tugs, squeezing the bottom of the knot. That will keep it tight and will keep it looking like a really nice knot. And it'll go all the way up to your neck. You just need to then put the thin end through this thing at the back, which is known as the keeper loop, or you could put it through the label, but I'd put it through that loop if you've got one. Pop your collar down. And you're ready. So there you go. That's the half Windsor tie knot. Wasn't that hard, was it? Probably feeling a bit calmer now for your big day or whatever it is you're going to. Now, don't forget our little deal. You said you were gonna click the like button and leave a comment about where you are watching this from. These little videos go all over the world and it's quite exciting for us. Anyway, maybe you're getting married, let us know. If you didn't get it, you can rewind the video. There's a bit at the bottom, I think you can slow it down. So you will get it eventually, I promise. We've got every faith in you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna learn some more tie knots, we've got some other videos. If not, or you like my tie, check out reefknots.com. We're based in London and maybe we'll see you around.